Welcome guys, Yas here from SolvedProblems.com with another solved problem in electrical circuit. Today we are going to check a very basic circuit. As you can see, we would like to determine if the source V is absorbing or supplying power and how much. Before we start, please support my channel by subscribing and rating videos. Please also check my website solve-problems.com for more solved problems in electrical circuits. Leave me comments either in YouTube or in the website. I would be more than happy to answer your questions. Also, I changed the format of the website. Let me know what you think. It should be much easier now to find, to browse problems and find uh, what you're looking for. So I also have a free ebook on nodal analysis, which is very popular. It has been already been uh, downloaded more than 200,000 times. You can download it. It's free from my website, solve-problems.com. I'm going to leave a link to the ebook on the description of this video. Also, I'm going to post the notes that you're going to see here while solving this problem as a PDF file in my website. Check the description of the video for the link to the PDF file also. So what we have here, we have a circuit with five elements uh, we know some voltages some currents we don't know the voltage of the vs the voltage source that we would like to determine if it's supplying power or absorbing power so what we're gonna do here we're gonna determine all other power of all other elements to see which one is supplying power which one is absorbing power so and we're going to use the sign convention for power. So let's start with positive sign convention. So positive sign. Sorry. Positive sign convention. So what it says, the positive sign convention says that for the element let's say this is an element if you define vt such vt and it actually such that the current is entering from the positive reference of the voltage that you defined like this so here current it is entering from the uh, positive reference in that case power which is the multiplication of voltage and current if you uh, calculate the power and if the power is uh, great, uh, positive like greater than zero in that case element is absorbing power but if power is negative then it's supplying power So this is positive sign convention that we're going to use for to solve this uh, problem. So let's start element by element. Let's assign some labels to elements to make our solution much easier to uh, to understand. So I'm going to call this element element one, this one element two. Current source I'm going to call it element three and the this element 4 and I'm not going to assign any label for the voltage source because it has already a label VS so what we're going to do one by one we're going to uh, determine the the, the, uh, the power of this element so let me bring this circuit here Okay, so for element one, which is this element, what we have here. Do we know the voltage of the crossed element? Yes, we know it's six volt. Do we know its current? Actually, yes, we know that too. So the current here is three amp. That means what? That means that current on this line is the whole line from here to here and all the elements there 
everywhere it's just 3 amp so here is also 3 amp here is also 3 amp so we know the current passing through element 1 it is 3 amp but what is the convention that we have you can see that the current is entering actually from the positive sign of the voltage defined so p of element 1 is equal 3 amp multiply 6 volt with positive sign convention so here we have 18 watt which is greater than 0 so this guy this element is what absorbing absorbing power for the second element here this element we have current 3 amp again P of 2 current is 3 amp here and the voltage is 10 volt and current is entering from the positive reference of the voltage so we can just multiply 3 amp multiply 10 volt we get 30 watt positive so this element is also absorbing power for element 3 this was 2 element 3 is this current source so for this one what do we have so here current is 9 amp but is it entering from the positive reference we see that no it's actually exiting from positive reference so this is like 9 amp what to do here here we have negative sign convention so here you need a negative sign to in your multiplication but you do it, the way that you can see this you can say that here this 9 amp that I have I can define another current like in the in the other direction and say that it is minus 9 amp so that's the same thing if 9 amp is going from top to bottom that means that minus 9 amp is going from bottom to top now for this minus 9 amp you have positive sign convention with this 16 volt or voltage so here for the third element p3 is actually minus 9 amp multiply 16 volt and that's how much 144 with negative sign minus 144 watt it's less than zero so this element is supplying unlike the other two element supplying powers and for the fourth element here what we have we have 6 amp entering from the positive reference so that's easy we know that power for that element p4 is 6 amp multiply 8 volt 48 watt greater than zero so absorbing so what is the power of the voltage source now we have three elements that they are absorbing one element that is supplying and one element that we don't know and we need to determine so here we need to use a energy conservation so energy is conserved in electrical circuits so some of this power should be zero or in other words like if we have how much absorbing we have absorbing we have 18 watt plus 30 watt plus 48 watt that's 96 watt absorbing how much supply we have we have 144 watt supply so and unknown is vs so what do you think 
is it supplying or absorbing to add up we need vs power of vs must be 144 minus 96 and the value is 48 and that's absorbing because we have 48 watt extra supplied that is not absorbed so that power should be absorbed actually by pvs or you can write that p1 plus p2 plus p3 plus p4 plus pvs equals zero from there you can find pvs equals 48 watt positive and that means that this is absorbing so now we can say that the problem is solved what else we can see for this circuit now we're done with solving but can we determine what is the value of vs so what is the current passing through vs the current passing through vs is 6 amp you can see it from here the 6 amp going in that direction so it's passing through vs so here what is pvs do we have positive sign conversion no we don't because 6 amp is entering from the negative reference that's negative this is 6 amp so we don't have positive sign convention here we have negative sign convention we can say that 6 amp is in this direction is equivalent minus 6 amp in this direction this minus 6 amp now with this vs definition we have positive sign convention so we can say that pvs is minus 6 amp multiply vs but we have the value for pvs it's 48 watt so from here we can say that vs is how much 48 watt divided by minus 6 amp that's minus 8 watt so the value the voltage of the voltage source we also were able to find it using the just power power of the element power of the voltage source one thing that you should know i noticed that some students after they find let's say voltage or voltage source which is negative they try to change the reference voltage reference of the element uh, you don't need to do that just keep it the way it is that's easier so minus eight volt is a valid number you don't need to come up with positive the same with current source if you get if you solve a problem and find that the current of a current source or current in any wire is negative just keep it as negative you don't need to go back and change the direction of the current and resolve i have seen that the students also resolve the whole problem because they think that the current that they chose in first and it was in wrong direction now they need to switch it reverse it and resolve the problem no you don't need to do that negative values for voltage or currents absolutely okay so keep them as you find them thank you very much please leave me your comments below in the description and also do not forget to check the website for more uh, solved problems and also youtube channel thank you